okay, which is bigger, 10 to the 10th or 9 to the 11? If anyone's been watching me on YouTube for more than a year, you may know that I used to do a whole bunch of which is bigger problems. I did like 10 of them or something in the first week, and I've only done like one since. But anyway, I thought it was a pretty interesting case. I'm not sure if I've done one like this before where we've got the base and the exponent are the same, and then here the base and the exponent are only off by one. The way I like to start these oftentimes is kind of take a guess, and my guess on this is gonna be that 10 to the 10 is gonna be less than nine to the 11th. The reason I say that is oftentimes with these problems, it's the one with the bigger exponent that wins. It's kind of like a frowny face or something. But yeah, it's usually the one with the bigger exponent that wins. So I'm gonna go with this and we'll try to prove this. And if we find that we're wrong, we can just reverse it and do it the other way. So then from here, what I wanna do is I kinda of wanna to try to match exponents so I can get some simplification. So what if I divide by nine to the 10th here and divide by nine to the 10th here? Then on the left side, I can write this as 10 over nine all to the same exponent 10. And then here, like this is all gonna cancel with all of these except for one. And we're saying this thing needs to be less than nine. But then here on the left side, what I wanna do is break this up. I wanna get the exponent to match this number. So what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna write it as 10 over nine to the ninth times 10 over nine here. And then in order to kind of just isolate this piece, what I can do is if I multiply by nine over 10 on both sides, well then this is gonna cancel with this and just be a one. And then over here on the right side, this is gonna become 81 over 10. And then now I can take this and rewrite this a little differently. I can write this as one plus one over nine. Just notice and that's the same as 10 over nine, right? And this is all to the nine power. And we're saying this is gonna be less than 81 over 10. But then at this point, we can just notice that what we have here on the left side, this is like our definition for E, except for when the nine is going to infinity. Let's just take a look at that really quick. Okay, we have here our definition for E over here to the right. And you'll notice it's exactly this form. Now for our definition of E to get something approximating E, we have X going all the way to infinity. Over here, we just have where our X is, everything, we just have nine there. So clearly what we have here is not quite the same as this, but what we can do is use this graph for this one plus one over X to the X, and we can kind of get a sense of it. And what you'll notice is because this is always increasing for positive X values, it's gonna be, everything's gonna be greater than one if we have positive X. But notice this graph is approaching E but never quite reaching E. Let's just pretend like our nine values over here. Well, we clearly have some value that's gonna be between two and E, but the really important takeaway here is this thing, when X equals nine, this thing here is clearly gonna be less than E. So let me make some space and we'll come back and continue with this here. Okay, now based on this graph over here, we can say that one plus one over nine to the nine, this is clearly gonna be less than E. But then what we wanna do, what we're comparing this to is, E is also less than 81 over 10, because this was the right side of our equation. 81 over 10, this is actually the same as 8.1. And then E, just for an estimate of E, it's something like 2.718, et cetera. So therefore, E is clearly less than 8.1. And we also determine this expression to the left. This is less than E. So therefore, our assumption is true, and 9 to the 11 is greater than 10 to the 10. And one quick note on this, because these numbers are actually not that large in this case, I mean, they're pretty large, but not like some of these problems can be. 10 to the 10, this is something, this is exactly 10 billion, actually. But if you put 9 to the 11th power in a calculator, this is something, it's greater than 31 billion. So you could use a calculator, that's not a very fun way, but you could use a calculator to see that 9 to the 11 is greater than 10 to the 10. Okay, there you have it, me going back to my roots with which is bigger problems. Thanks everyone for watching, have a good day.